Well, hi guys, it's um, Friday evening, it's about 8 o'clock now. Uh, I haven't got to go to work tomorrow, so I thought I'd get on out and do a wild camp because I've not been out in a couple of weeks now. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any filming walking in, only this. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll come back to you once I've pitched up. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'll see you then. I've pitched up. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to do any filming coming in here uh, on this on this uh, particular wild camp because uh, I'm on private land uh, with permission, <laughs> which is good. Um, it's a local camp, uh, sort of 12, 15 minute drive from me. I was. Um, the job I was doing today, the the, the customer has uh, quite a bit of land, and um, I thought well, you don't ask, you don't get. So I thought I asked him if I could do some wild camping on his land, and um, he didn't have an issue at all. He's never been asked that before, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he didn't have an issue. So uh, he said I can. Um, he showed me a few areas that I could use. The only thing is, it's not the flattest of areas. Um, where I found the, the, this is the best I could find, it's not the flattest. Um, I had a good old walk round and there's not a lot of choices. Very small pockets of woodlands dotted about. You could definitely get a hammock, you could find somewhere with a hammock here. You'd be better off, I think, with a hammock than uh, than, than a tent. Um, I'm not a million miles away from their house, um, and I probably pick, didn't pick a very good night for it because they're having a bit of a party tonight. There's quite a few of them over there, and I can just about hear them. But um, that's not a problem because uh, I had a load of kids. I could see a load of kids in the distance running across um, one of the fields. And, uh, and I thought, oh Christ, they're going to sort of ask me to move on because uh, obviously they've, they've got you know a party going on. Uh, but then they didn't. The kids came over and um, brought me a beer, so they they spotted me. I was trying to stay a bit stealthy, but you know with the monk tarp, obviously didn't happen. Um, I am just behind some trees, um, but they obviously spotted me. But I got a beer out of it, so. I can't complain, and I didn't bring one tonight, so um, spot on. Um, so yeah, I've got the bivy in. Just going to get the sleeping bag, roll mat, a few other bits. I'm going to have a dinner. I'm going to get a get a cook on the go in a minute. Yeah, it's really cool having uh, some land to be able to um, camp on so close to where I live and um, actually be allowed to. So. Um, yeah, I'm happy about that. So I'm uh, I'm not going to do any filming of where I am because I don't want. Um, I'm not going to. You know, I've got a few subscribers that are local to me, and um, obviously it's private land. I've got permission to be here, so I don't really want to let on where I am because I don't want to um, get on the bad side of the landowner, and um, suddenly you get some other people popping up here. So um, yeah, I don't want to give away where I am. Ah. Cheers. It's not a hobgoblin. Oh my god. Brought the Esbit again out with me this evening. And um Gulas. Never heard of it. It's meat, potato, peas. It looks alright. Give it a go. Don't know if anyone's ever tried that before, but um, yeah, I'll let you know what it's like in a bit. I'll try not to uh, do my usual chomping away. Wow, it's getting quite dark now, guys. Um, just gonna make a cup of tea with the water that's left over out of the Esbet. 
and um, yeah, just leave my meal to um, just put the water in. So I'm just leaving that to uh, to do its thing. And uh, yeah, I've got only fools and horses as usual on the go. So um, yeah, probably not going to do. Uh, any more filming now? There's Ellie. She's curled up, ready to settle down for the night. She'll probably come round a bit when the biscuits come out. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, it's just coming up 6 o'clock, I've uh, had a bit of breakfast, just having a quick cup of tea before I get packed up and get on home. Had a, a good night, <laughs> heard a bit of wildlife about, pretty sure there was a fox behind, uh, behind the tarp last night, making a bit of a noise. Lovely and peaceful waking up here. It's a lovely little spot. Definitely need to find somewhere a little bit flatter. It's not too bad, it's doable where I am, but um but I'll have a little explore around here sometime when I've got a bit of free time during the day. But I'm very lucky to uh to have this place to uh to, to camp in. You know, to be allowed to camp in. Yeah, I'm gonna have um, finish my cup of tea, get packed up, and um, I'll come back to you in a little bit. up and head back to my truck now it's about 25 past six um, slept really well last night really enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the camp um, I was hoping to meet up with Carl uh, Dartmoor Explorer next week uh, on, on Dartmoor but um, if you're watching mate it's looking a little bit unlikely I've had a look at the job sheet for next week and I don't, I don't think I can get a day off during the week but I will keep you posted so yeah I'm gonna head back now thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one